This video is going to give a quick example of how you can use Solver for a simple optimization, or in this case, equalization problem. And here we're going to look at making a decision regarding purchasing an energy efficient water heater versus a regular water heater. So here's the basic setup. <coughs> um, you can either get a regular water heater or an efficient one. The efficient one costs more but it runs for fewer hours per year, hence the efficiency. So both of them use four kilowatts when they run, but the regular one runs for more hours. We're gonna do a present value calculation using a 5% interest rate initially. We're gonna assume that both of them last for 10 years. We're gonna assume that the price per kilowatt hour is 10 cents. <clears throat> So the first calculation is cost per year. And all I did here is I said, well, it's 1,000 hours times 4 kilowatts. So I get 4,000 kilowatt hours per year. And the price is 10 cents. So I just multiply those three things together. And so the regular one costs $400 a year to run. The energy efficient one costs $320 to run. Now I want my present value. So I'm going to say equals PV. And then my interest rate is 5%. My number of periods is 10 years. And then my payment per year is $400, but I want this all to be in positive numbers, so I'm just going to put minus um, 400. And then I could have put these same numbers in uh, the 5%, the, the 10 years, and the 1%, and just drag this over, but I actually want to just have single cells that have those numbers, so I'm just going to write this again, present value. It's going to be my rate, my number of periods, and then my annual payment. And then I can say my net present value. So that's going to equal both the cost of running it plus my initial cost in the first year. And there we are. So with our interest rate of 5%, our assumption that it will last for 10 years, all of our other assumptions, we see that the net present value of the regular one is more than the efficient one. But now let's say, okay, so here we have the exact same setup. And here's the difference in the price. This was just the um, difference between the regular one and the efficient one. Let's say, well, what if we use a different interest rate? So here we assume the interest rate is 5%. So that's how we're discounting the future but maybe we don't have money right now, so we have to borrow the money to buy this, and we can only borrow money at <clears throat> a different amount. So the question is, what would the interest rate have to be so that you were indifferent between these two options, or in other words, that they cost the same? So I could just put in different interest rates and say, well, what if it were 8%? Then, okay, then the difference is smaller. Or what if it were 10%? then difference is even smaller. What if it were 20%? Difference is even smaller. So I could keep playing with that number until I found that the, the difference equaled zero. But alternatively, I could use Solver. So I'm going to go into Data. Solver is an add-in, so if you don't already see it in your menu bar, then you need to go up to Tools and do Excel add-ins, and you'll find it. I already have it here. So I'm going to say so Solver, okay. <coughs> The objective function is this cell right here. And I want to set that to the value of zero. So you can, with solver, you can do maximum, minimum. In this case, I want it the value of zero. And the cell I'm going to change is this one. The numbers were already in here because I already did it with this spreadsheet. But you just fill in the numbers yourselves when you open solver. And now I'm going to say solve. And there it is. So I'm going to keep my solver solution. And if my interest rate were 23.4%, then the value of these two uh, different water heaters would be the same. OK, let's try a different thing. We assumed it was going to last for 10 years. What if it's going to last for a different number of years? OK, so we had 10 in here to get our 317 difference. But we don't really know <clears throat> how long it's going to last. So we could say, well, how long would it have to last for us to be indifferent between these two models? Okay, so again, we're going to go to Solver. And then 
now my objective function is going to be this cell. And let's, my objective function is going to be this cell. And then I'm going to change this cell by 10 years, solve it. And if they only last for four and a quarter years, then I'd be indifferent between the two models. Now, what about the price of energy? So again, I'm going to open up Solver and go down here and say my objective function is now this cell. The cell I'm going to change is the price of energy. What would the price of energy need to be for me to be indifferent? So if energy were really cheap, about five cents per kilowatt hour, then I'd be indifferent between these two. Finally, we assumed that the regular one um, operated for 1,000 hours per year and the efficient one operated for 800. But what would the efficient one have to be? So maybe it's not as efficient as we thought for us to be indifferent here. right? <clears throat> so my last run. And so, oops, there's my, and, oh, actually, sorry, let me, I want to make another cell here. Um, I'm going to get out of solver for a second. Um, oh, no, no, th this is right, sorry, never mind, never mind, this is right. Solver. So I want to erase that by changing this cell, solve, and if it only, if it operated for 900 hours, then I would be indifferent between the two. So if it's not as efficient as I thought. Okay.